Hi, welcome to the trade wrap up for the week of October 22nd. Yeah, 22nd. Okay. Uh, all right. So for those of you who have been following along, uh, I was stuck in some pretty, I wouldn't say disgusting, horrible trades, but some trades that were a little bit concerning uh, to me and to others. Um, I made some videos about getting out of bad trades, when you should add to them or get out of them completely, or what you should do when you're in bad trades, etc. Um, I even made a section about it in the course, the Three Best Trading Robots course. Uh, for those of you who are members of that course, it's inside of the MT4 basic training section. And it's the section down at the bottom, bad trades, what to do. Um, and I put bad in quotation marks because it's it's kind of uh, subjective uh, as to whether or not trades are bad. I never really considered the trades that I was in as being bad. Although the drawdown was heavier than I like, I, I never considered them bad because they weren't they weren't drawn down for a long period of time. They just it mostly all happened overnight, even. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at these trades that I was in. And uh, I, I didn't just make this video as a 2020 hindsight, like, oh, look how good these trades turned out, even though they were bad. I made these videos here as this was happening, as all of these trades were negative. I mean, I made, I made four videos about that, about these trades that I was in, and I expressed that I was not worried about them. They were a little... A higher drawdown than I like, but um, I was never really concerned about the trades themselves. But we were in some Australian dollar, US dollar trades, uh, a whole slew of Euro Australian dollar trades, Euro New Zealand dollar trades, and pound yen trades. And we had a, we were, ex I was experiencing a drawdown of about $364. Now that's a lot more than I would care to have in my account. I'd really prefer not to have. A $364 drawdown, although occasionally, rarely, it does happen, um, especially when I was looking for a little bit more profit on these Euro Australian dollar trades. Now, how did they end up turning out? Well, for one, the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar trades had already closed out, and they were pretty cool. Uh, the British pound, New Zealand dollar trades, they actually, there were actually several of those trades that opened up during the week, and they all turned out pretty well. The Euro US dollar trades, I actually just got out of just because I didn't want to see them there anymore. But had I waited, they would have gone to full profit, which was really, really disappointing. It made me very, very sad to get out of those trades that early. But I got out of the trades at 1.1771, and it was on October 24th, and they were buy trades. So as you can see, they went considerably further up, like right after I got out of them, just because I jumped the gun and closed the trades when I should have left them in. I closed them down like right up here in like the middle of this candle or so. And then it just shot up and it would have taken profit in the middle of this move. And had I, I mean, I could have even waited a, a while longer and it would have just continued to go up for a while and I mean, it, but it would have taken profit somewhere around this level here, and then I would have been done. And I, I wouldn't, but I closed it out at a what is that? A two dollar loss because I was just tired of having them in there, and I was a little bit concerned about them because they 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 had gone through a, a VPS shutdown, meaning they they possibly potentially could have taken profit at this level instead but i didn't open up my vps until it was back down here it just it's a whole mess i didn't like it but i should have stayed in but then there's the australian dollar japanese yen trades those ended up being pretty cool i made uh, five dollars on those trades and then the british pound new zealand dollar made another dollar fifty and then the euro australian dollar trades those were pretty awesome so we had the, the losing one there and the losing one there, but then we had a profitable one here and a profitable one here. So all of these were in one trade set. So all four of these trades were up at the same time. So there was a losing 1436, a losing 3318, 
which closed out at the exact same time as these other trades in the set, which was 44, 19, and 553. So overall, I made, uh, I don't know. Let me check. I don't think I actually uh, ever checked this one to see how much it made. I just was so excited they finally closed. So we do 44.19 plus 5.53, then minus uh 14.36 minus 33.18 i made two dollars and 18 cents oh i guess i did already calculate that <laughs> okay so made two dollars and 18 cents it may not seem like much considering what the drawdown was but had i closed it out at a drawdown it would have been way way worse and i was confident that they were going to come back and i expressed that in those videos from earlier this week so it's not like uh well shoot now i can look back and say that I was confident, but I really was just freaking out in my brain. No, I wasn't freaking out. I trust the robots. They do what I have told them to do. And I have watched them long enough to know that they, that they work. So let's take a look at the Euro Australian dollar and see what that did. Cause that was a, that was a wild ride. Wow, man. See, and here's another instance where I got out of the trade because I just wanted to be out of them at a little bit of a profit. But I should have stayed in. I exited at 1.5218, 52, 18, oh geez, look at that. I got out up here somewhere, 1026, so yeah, it was right around here. And how much further down has it gone since then? Oh my gosh, that's 110 pips more. It, it's gone down since then. And considering these were 50 cent per pip trades here, well, about 50 cents per pip trades here, and then the 10 cent per, oh man, that would have been really cool. Uh, anyways, sorry, I get a little bit caught up sometimes in the money that could have been made, and I shouldn't do that. I made profit on these trades. I got out of them at a at what I felt comfortable at, and I'm glad that they are gone. Like, they're just, they're done for now. And I'll know better next time. Again, man, I hate it when that happens. It's the same thing with those uh, Australian dollar Japanese yen trades. These ones have been in for uh, almost two weeks. They were in for almost two weeks because I closed out of a trade early when I shouldn't have, and I closed it out at a very, very tiny gain, I think. And then it got into these sale trades, and then it just sat there. And I should have stayed in the other trades and taken more profit, but I didn't. <sighs> okay, I need to start practicing when I preach, I guess. Anyway, so we also had the pound yen trades, which got out at a dollar twenty-two uh, gain. So the British pound, Japanese yen can be fickle. <laughs> it can move very quickly in many different directions, and that's exactly what happened. It it moved quickly up, and actually, wow, it almost took profit right there. Had it, hmm, then it wouldn't have been in that sell trade so long. Anyways, it, uh, it moved around a whole bunch, and it came back down, and it took profit. And then it came back down past that level again, so I feel confident that this trade was good, uh, even though it felt not as good at the time because uh, it was in for like a week and it just all of the currencies just started moving against the trades I was in really quickly and then I got stuck in those trades for a few days and a, and a larger drawdown than I would have liked but again I had confidence in the robots that they chose good trades and that they would come out of it because they've been doing it for years and they did and now my drawdown is significantly lower. And the oldest trade I have right now is a Euro New Zealand dollar trade from 10 days ago. And I know that there are quite a few people who are in this exact same trade, this Euro New Zealand dollar sell trade. And I am still very confident that it's going to come back down and do just fine. We just have to wait it out for a little while. Uh, but hopefully we've all used small trade sizes like we've talked about and we're not experiencing any difficulty right now. Now, what am I up to? Uh, my $5,000 trading account in the past 
three weeks is now up to fifty-one twelve, so five thousand one hundred twelve dollars. And uh, my drawdown is not more than my original deposit size, so my drawdown doesn't even go down past what I've made in profit. So I'm still positive in equity and positive in balance. Balance is realized profit. So that's money that's actually gone into the account. The equity is uh, your balance minus your running total. So your unrealized profit or loss. Uh, I'm confident that this British pound New Zealand dollar trade is going to come back pretty quickly because the British pound New Zealand dollar has always been the most reliable of of all the currency pairs, especially with the moving average divergence robot, the mad trader robot. So I'm pretty confident that uh, if it doesn't come back up on this one trade, it's going to take a second trade and exit pretty fast because I never see these trades last longer than a few days on the British pound New Zealand dollar. Uh, and the Australian dollar, US dollar, I plan on being in that trade for a little while longer. Uh, I'm not going to close it out at a loss because I use really small trade sizes. I'm going to allow it the flexibility that it needs. And starting Monday, I'm actually going to be adding the robot back to a bunch of currency pairs. Uh, right now, the robots are only running on uh, these three currency pairs. So last week, I made, let's see, I want to do a custom period so we can do just one week. Uh, last week, there we go. How about that? No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Custom period. How about uh, we'll just pick? Oh, yeah, see, there it is 22. Pick 22. There we go. All right. 11.54. So, with all of those trades all combined, all of that horribleness that we were going through. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the way we wanted it. Hard to tell. Huh. Well, anyways, uh, even though all those trades were going kind of bad and I was very, very nervous about the drawdown and everything, <laughs> um, it all actually turned out fairly well. And I am very happy with only having made $11.54 in profit or, yeah, over the past week. Uh, especially since overall I'm up by 112. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this past week. Uh, I will have more updates coming throughout the week about trades that are currently open right now and what they're doing, and then trades that are going to be opening up later because I'm going to be adding it back to eight or nine, maybe 10 currency pairs total. And we'll see what the, what, what we get from that over this next week should be pretty similar to what we were seeing the previous weeks before this weird stuff happened with the market this past week. But that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about any of the trades or any of the robots, then just uh, send me a message on Facebook or send me an email and you can email me at, there we go, support at train mt4.zendesk.com. You can email me right there, and I'll get back to you relatively quickly, as quickly as I can at least, uh, within 24 hours, hopefully. And that's it for now. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you on the trading floor this coming week. Bye for now.